Okay, folks, now for the update of what happened in Bloordale Village in Toronto in March of 2018. Uh, there was actually a, a lot of activity in Bloordale for March um, uh, last month. Um, there were actually 10 sales. That's a lot for our neighbourhood when we traditionally only see a turnover every year of about under 3% in these neighbourhoods. Um, so anyways, let's get going. So there were 10 sales and it was a 50-50 split between whether homes were listed low and sold high or whether homes were listed uh, traditionally and sold close to there upon what they were listed at. So uh, we'll start with actually two listings or actually my listings, uh, 359 Margareta Street and 101 Russell Avenue. Avenue. Um, <clears throat> we actually didn't even get to the market with these ones. We put a coming soon sign on the lawn and that generated enough activity um, that we could make a great deal for our sellers in both cases. So 359 Margareta Street, um, we were listing low around 800 and we sold it for 190 above. Um, uh, 990 was what it went for and that was a detached home two and a half story detached garage two car parking um, the home did need a lot of work somebody will probably put about 300k into that home and it'll be worth 1.5 1.6 in our market here in Bloordale. next was 101 russet avenue a semi-detached uh, two-story detached car it had private drive so it had, good, it, um, it had a good lot size frontage of about 23 foot by 120 um, again, we were listing this low and we sold it 18% above asking. Um, we sold it for 950. That's 101 Russet Avenue. Then there was another listing on Margareta, 377 Margareta Street. Um, again, listed low, listed at uh, 900. Uh, sold for 10% above, sold at 989. Uh, I took a quick run through this house. Uh, modest renovations, wasn't anything stellar. Um, sold in seven days though in multiple offers. Um, it was a, a row house, end unit row house, so kind of like a semi. It had a little detached one and a half car garage in the back and lot size was uh, 17 by 106. There you go. Uh, next, another low listed one was 124 Millicent. Uh, semi detached, two and a half story, um, single family home. Again, listed at 900, sold for a million uh, in seven days. Very quickly as well too, uh, this was probably one of the, the most surprising sales in the neighborhood. I think it overreached uh, probably the agents and the sellers, uh, um, uh, um, what they expected as well to 416 Margareta Street, semi-detached for a private drive, so a good frontage, 25 foot by 108, um, renovated new kitchen, um, listed at a million, they held back offers, sold on offer night for 36% above asking. Um, so it actually sold for 1.36 million. Uh, so great result there for those sellers. Now let's get to the traditional ones in Blurdale. Uh, the other five, there was a 104 Russet Avenue. Uh, now this may sound familiar because I would have mentioned it last month in my update. Uh, they've been trying to sell 104 Russet since November. It's been on the market a few times and as I said in my updates uh, last month, listed too high. So they relisted it again last month and listed at 1.25. Um, for a detached two-story um, with a two-car garage and a fully finished basement and it sold for 1.178 million. Um, now the, pro the, the problem with this house in my opinion is that younger families are looking to buy this type of property. The layout was funky and wasn't really conducive to um, you know a younger couple wanting to raise some kids there. So I think that's really what um, created difficulty in this one selling. 40 Armstrong, another property sold, uh, sold traditionally, listed at 1.4, sold for 1.325. Again, this is a triplex they had on the market a couple of times, uh, detached, two and a half story, three car garage, so great, uh, great property. But uh, again, they listed it too high, then they relisted it again a bit lower, and they got their sale. 166 Wallace, also listed at 1.25, just sold south of that at 1.242. Again, that was a triplex in the neighborhood. Um, detached two and a half story, uh, one car garage as well too. Um, and then we had 585 St. Clarence Avenue, uh, a smaller detached two story, 18 foot frontage by 120, detached two car garage, um, <clears throat> you know, same family for many, many years. And um, that listed at 920, sold in 10 days for 910. And then finally, I didn't even get into this property, it sold so quickly, 15 Armstrong came on the market. Um, listed at 1.249, sold at 1% above at 1.265, uh, sold in zero days, so literally came on, somebody went see it, made an offer that day. 
Um, great lot, 25 foot frontage by 123. Uh, the property was really solid. It was built actually in 1985. Um, <clears throat> so there you have it, 15 Armstrong Avenue. So that concludes all the 10 properties that sold in Bloordale Village um, in March of 2018. And that's everything that came on the market. So there you have it for Bloordale Village. Thank you so much. It's Don Ward McCarthy with Keller Williams Realty. Thank you.